If you're working with EDI support, all you have to do is step number one and provide us those, those pieces of information, those contacts. From there, we take it. We run with it. We reach out to those contacts. We do all of those things. We handle all the project management, map development, testing, you name it, we do it. You just bring us the contacts so that we know who we need to interact with and we'll take it from there. One of the big things that you have to do when you're setting up a new EDI trading partner is you have to collectively put together who the team is and the team members are that are on your side that interact with that particular uh, EDI trading partner. So that means from a invoicing standpoint, from an order standpoint, for all, from all of those standpoints. How, who interacts with that particular trading partner? Who's the representative buyer on the side of that trading partner? You have to get all of that information put together. So contacts, so contacts from your side, contacts from their side, EDI contacts on their side, those type of things. So you first step is to put all those contacts together. Step number two, you're going to reach out to that EDI trading partner's contacts. And you're going to say, we'd like to move forward with setting up EDI. From there, you're going to gather the EDI mapping guidelines. So that represents the different documents that you're going to be setting up. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is you want to gather the EDI communication. So you want to gather those EDI communication information, whether it's FTP, AS2, all those type of things. The next step that you want to do from there is now we are going to start doing some of those setups. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to reach out to your IT staff or external IT staff and say, hey, we're looking to set up FTP. Maybe you need to set up a whitelisting of the IP addresses on the firewall. Those type of different things. Again, if you're working with EDI support, we're doing that for you. Um, we try to make your lives easy is what I'm getting at. Uh, the next thing, even my partner agrees. Uh, he gave a little bark for that. The next thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and we're going to start doing the map developments. We're going to setting up those maps. We're going to be also going in your system, setting up those different communication points um, so that the AS2 is ready, FTP is ready, so on and so forth. After we've done that, the next thing that we have to do is we have to find out what are the testing steps? So what are the tasks that they're going to take us through? Are we going to be receiving a test purchase order? Are we going to be sending an invoice? Are we going to be sending an ASN, um, printing off labels, doing all of those different things? So we want to make sure that we have all of those different pieces configured inside of your system. So whether you're dealing in SAP or Sage 100 or whatever ERP system or WMS or TMS or any of those different systems that you're dealing with, now we want to make sure that those different pieces are set up. So we have to make sure that your items are set up, the ship twos are set up, the terms information is set up, the ship via or the shipping methods are set up. So all of those different pieces are set up throughout your either A, embedded in your EDI solution, in your backend system like the ERP, or your third party solution or wherever they're going to be. So we're going to configure those different pieces inside of the system so that we can go through our testing tasks. After we move through those testing tasks, our next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to also be doing what I call end-to-end -end testing, where we're making sure that those team members that you provided as contacts are signing off on those documents, truly flowing into the system, filling out the proper information as though somebody manually entered in the documents and flowed it through the system to invoicing, ASNing, Whatever the, the documents are that you need to take care of, we make sure that those pieces and those processes have been done. And everybody says, you know what? Here's a thumbs up. It looks great. The next piece from there is figuring out when do you want to go into production? Production meaning live, meaning where you're going to be sending those documents are always going to be coming through EDI. They're not going to be coming through the previous submission of emails, phone calls, faxes, whichever way they were coming through previous to EDI. So once you figure that out and you get a, an exact date of when you'd like to make that configuration change, you let the whole team members know, hey, this is when we're going to be going live. We need to monitor things and make sure things are processing through from beginning to end 
and all documents are successful.